today Bo and I are out and about and we are looking for wood. We are on the hunt for beams and planks, anything like that that we can get our hands on that we can use to work on our uh, greenhouse. This is something worth showing you guys. This is a Boxbaum farm and it's on both sides of the road. We're gonna go get on the automobile now and jump over to our next location in hopes of finding more wood. Langhorn is just a city, uh, part of the city, and on eBay, a uh, gentleman was giving away his old wood from his renovation work, and I'm currently loading it onto the top of our sturdy little car, and we're going to build a greenhouse out of it. So I have to watch out, I can go over the front, because I can have it all the way to the nose. In the back, I have to watch out that I don't exceed one meter. After that, I need to have one of those little red flags, which I don't have with me. So, but this is the longest one. And uh, that should be good. So whenever possible, if you can find wood locally, friends, family, um, online, Craigslist, anything like that, on little eBay, the classifieds in the newspaper, where you can get it, I highly recommend trying to go with something local and free first. Um, in order to to make stuff and you know it really makes amazing things not only is it fun uh, to collect it and to know that you're helping the environment by by using wood that's uh, reclaimed it also makes beautiful furniture um, you can sand it off and give it a little tea, tea tree oil and it just is gorgeous it's just so so pretty so all of the furniture that we have um, we have made and most of it I designed and then Bo and I sat down and figured out how we were going to build it. And I'd say 90% of it is done with reclaimed wood. In fact, a lot of the pieces that we have, we have had because we have reclaimed it from old wood, say his parents had for shelving and stuff in their, in their old kitchen before they redid it. And from there we turned it into our own bar and tables and counters and um, shelvings and all kinds of things for our house and for our apartment and then we moved to our house we took it all apart and we redid it in different and we even stained it and stuff and we took it all apart we we sanded it off we uh, stripped it um, and reformed it into new things i am very pleased just look at this wood it's beautiful this is from two different locations i've got flat boards i got big boards i got all kinds of stuff I can definitely get going with this. I think at this point we're pretty full. I mean there's still more here but I think this is the last amount we're going to end up getting because we're going to have to go back to the garden, to the allotment and, uh, and, and um, drop this stuff off before we collect any more. It's been quite a day. I'm sure we'll do a lot more of these because although that looks like a huge pile of wood in it, it definitely is. Um, it's not enough. We will have to go collect more. Thanks for coming along. I'm Scarlett and I'll see you in the next episode. Toodaloo! Uh, 25% of all garbage in landfills are made up of construction, uh, construction building materials. So I think that we will we'll find some some more wood, most certainly.